911, where's your emergency? I need an ambulance right away. My son just overdosed on heroin. What's your address? How did I get here? I have no clue how this happened. I don't know when it went from being fun to being bondage. I was a person I never thought I'd become, and I hated that person. But I didn't see any way out other than taking my own life. My plan was pretty much to get high when I got out of jail and uh, until I ran out of money and, and then do enough, do enough dope to end it. The world has no hope to offer a junkie. I was just broken and I was hopeless. Us completely without hope. But I just didn't see a way out of it. I didn't think there was any hope to be different. It is not only consuming the lives of individuals, it's actually beginning to consume uh, the focus of government because it is out of control. We are now losing 144 Americans to drug overdoses. Think about that. Every single day, 144 people. When you're dealing with something that lethal, such a small dose, when it, you know, comes in contact with us, first responders can knock us on our butts. At some point I was exposed. It's a real threat. I fear that more than, than being shot or stabbed. I mean, you truly don't know if you're coming home at night. If we treat this problem, this epidemic, merely from a physical standpoint, and we leave out the soul of man, then I think we're, we're fighting this epidemic with one arm behind our back. There's an emptiness, there's a void in every man's life. We believe that people do drugs because they are at dis-ease with themselves. You see, by calling it a disease, that takes the responsibility off of the addict and it places it onto the disease. I thought, you've tried everything. You've tried heroin, cocaine, pain pills, marijuana, beer, but why don't you try something that might be good for you? There was hope, there was maybe something can change me, maybe, maybe I can live a different life. I started finding myself feeling again, having compassion, you know, having re regret for the things I had done in the past. And, and that's when I really noticed that man, something's changed and something's, something's coming alive again. Hope for the first time in 12 years, longer than that, but for the first time in at least 12 years of drug addiction, that I felt like there was a chance for me to change. Sometimes people, when they find their salvation, they think that's the end. That's not, that's just the beginning.